because it's mountainous, I guess it reminds you of the first mission and a lot of trees. Yep. It does, it does. Is that? But this. That looks, looks like, like some jump pads. Yeah, jump pads. Well, similar. But I'm really, I'm really wondering to see the storm effect. What's it like? I, I've always thought the storm was just gonna be like the background weather thing. I don't. In the oceans of Gaia. Like it wouldn't affect the actual map. Rich with history. Let's watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the air crackles with energy. I thought they would show like skins and stuff, but maybe later. They call it Storm of Point. Yeah. Ash. And they boost you. Rotating. And the new prowlers. Ooh, spiders. <laughs> who, who hates spiders, man? I fucking hate spiders. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Watch out or I'll grapple you. Oh, uh, Watson buff <laughs> Lol. <laughs> to disable the cars? Uh -huh. Question mark. I don't know if that's like been a thing since Olympus. I. I mean, you never see Watson. Oh, this SMG. Yeah. This SMG. This one. This one. Oh, and you can switch ammo. Yeah. A pilot stands before you. Respect is Were you able to switch ammo in the original Titanfall? Oh, mid eye, mid eye, mm. mid eye. Yes. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That looks. Just now it looks like you cannot move after a while. Like you, yeah, it, 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 it's it's a like a net. Ash, yeah. Ash. That's a tactical, not her ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Storm. Ooh. It's a place where dreams. Come true. Where dreams come true. <laughs> Shit, that's it. Yeah. They don't show Ash ulti. Well, they kind of did in the. They show. They show her ulti was the the phase thing. So it cuts between, like when she uses your sword, it cuts through from one point to a next another point. So it's like you. I think you gotta determine the distance yourself from the looks. Oh. Try going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out, or I'll grapple you. Fence in position. Yeah, I don't know in Olympus, like, so rare to see a uh, Watson, whether the fence can actually disable the car or not. But if it does now, well, it's it's decent to have something new, but don't know if that's, like, what she needs, per se. But yeah, switching uh, ammo type, like, how useful is that really, where... You have to run like both of this ammo, like light and heavy. So wait. So that's the tactical. It holds people in. Oh, that's the ulti. That's the ulti. Just now. So that means you gotta cut through. So that means it's like you gotta aim. Yeah, it feels like she makes a portal for herself, and like Wraith makes. It's only for her. No, yeah. it's only for her. So, yeah. So that means if you can have like your your friends sort of like pin an enemy down, pin the squad, and you send Ash to the back and then flank. So Ash is more like a flanking character. It's the UI to show like Ash. where you can go isn't quite clear. Very clear. Yeah. No, it, it's not clear. I think the not game yet. will show it later. Yeah, they'll show I it later. I think it's just for, for the spectacle, for the, 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 yeah. I imagine it would just be like Pathfinder's um, zip Maybe. line. That, yeah. Yeah. It would just have like that bar where like you want to go zip line up there, but this is just an Ash like portal for herself to, you know, portal that uh -huh. kind of distance. And this is almost like it maybe you could say like it's like a Pathfinder zip line. This distance as well mm -hmm. you can go pretty mm -hmm. far with it yeah yeah it's pretty far 
ashes to ashes. I don't think that portal is ashes portal either. I just if because it you you just appear in front. No, it's it's like phasing, so it's um you know how Wraith does her phase, right? Yeah. Void I, running, I, void running. Yeah, I'm just sort of saying like once Ash sort of phases a distance, she cannot go back anymore. It doesn't create yeah, you a can, portal. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Yeah. It doesn't create a portal. Once you go there, you're stuck there. Yeah. So it's similar to what's it called? Like the fuck friggin' uh the Ronin Titan. Ronin Titan? Yep. Yeah, so the Ronin Titan is something similar to that. It's like there's a tactical ability of it to like you can phase and like you can show up like say say you're being surrounded by other titans, right? You can phase through them and go behind them or go to the side and you know fight with them. Yeah. Use your sword or, or like go and shoot them. Something like that, you know? Well they try to make it like similar to Ash's Titan, right? In the original it's, it gameplay. It looks like it from the looks. It reminds me of the the tactical ability of of the other of the the Ronin Titan. I mean, you can pull up Ronin Titan uh, uh, in a bit. Like after this, you pull up Ronin Titan, and then you'll see its abilities. Yeah, but it's, it's good. Oh, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue. Continue. No, it's cool that there's like multiple uh, monster types to uh -huh. into this map. There, there have been rumors about the that. That monster that Bloodhound fought in his trailer. The big one. Yeah, the big one is coming as well. Ooh. So I think uh, there'll be an Easter egg that shows up. I don't know if it's an e Easter egg because it's a totally different map anyways. <laughs> mm -hmm. But just that those type of monsters will be in this map as well as sort of single uh, large monsters that will require a, a home to take down. I'm still curious. Uh, or, I'm still curious on this thing like it's just like a boost thing yeah like is this thing just supposed to replace those zip line towers to rotate around the map the distance doesn't seem to be that far in the first it's place just, it's just it's, it's similar to, to octane's jump pad yeah thing. it feels like similar to octane's jump pad but <laughs> a single directional one at that doesn't mm -hmm. look to be like great uh -huh. But it's hard to like pinpoint. There's like multiple versions already. There's this one going up to the right, and then another one here pointing mm -hmm. like towards the center. It's like so these two seem to just sort of go somewhere here, per se. But then these guys are diving down. So do they still have zip lines? Uh. Or, or those guys are like from, or those guys are still coming jump from. Jump towers. Yeah, jump towers. Or maybe those guys were like coming through on uh, uh, Valk's ultimate. Yeah, from the looks. Watch out or I'll grapple you. Fence in position. So that's that's a new skin. Oh, that must be the level one hundred and one hundred ten. So the prowler will be the one, I guess, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to be the adaptive. Looks pretty sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if these will be skins or not. Yeah, they'll be skins. Skins do show yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're showing off the skins yet. Maybe there will be another another trailer. But yeah, it's like, so with this Carl with two ammo types, are, are you then motivated to like have to just run heavy and light ammo for the Carl? <laughs> car, car. It's not Carl, car. It's, it's like car. It's Carl! Carl! Oh, car. Where's Carl? <laughs> yeah. Um, if you ask me, I mean, it takes away the hassle maybe of like having two guns, so you just like use two ammo types. I mean, you can just run with one gun if you want to. You you but run then... you run two cars. <laughs> no, no 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 no. I mean one gun with two ammo types. So I mean it takes away. So you take away one ammo one weapon slot. Maybe this gun forces you to 
give up one ammo slot maybe a one gun slot that that would be absolutely horrible dude <laughs> that would be terrible because <laughs> like, like you definitely gun... need a secondary because if you run out of ammo on the first gun you switch weapons to your secondary to finish off the fight and if you can't do that oh my god that is horrible okay okay here's mm -hmm. here's 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 where i see it here's where i see it where maybe you run you are running both heavy and light okay mm -hmm. and then you find a care package weapon and then you pick up that weapon but you still hold the car gun and you don't have to drop all of your ammo because the car gun uses both types anyways okay uh, that, that okay that that's my pitch that's my pitch mm -hmm. my two cents on it but yes th um, just like curious on like how t using two ammo types will be beneficial whether maybe one one game you're gonna use the light ammo type for the car mm -hmm. while the heavy ammo goes to like a flat line that you found and then the next game you're using the like light ammo um the heavy ammo on the car while you're using a 301 on on the light ammo side of things uh i still don't quite understand it yet but someone else will figure it out and then do a tutorial on it but ash looks good mm -hmm. bro uh huh. I like you're, this. You're, I like this character. You're drooly. You're drooly. Uh huh. Like it's, it's it's a pilot, man. It's like it's a pilot from Titanfall. I'm actually happy. Yeah, bro. I mean, just like, like the I mean, I'm waiting. I'm I'm waiting for them to bring like other characters. Like I'm waiting for them to bring in like what's what's his Blisk. face? Uh, Blisk. Blisk. Yeah, like bringing Blisk and shit, man. Like Blisk be hint Blisk be hinted and sort of leaked and. So I've seen being tested. So who knows, man? I think the story just has to develop far enough to give him a good reason to join the games in the first place, you yeah. know? Just like Sorry. Ash, they can't just sort of put her in when the like Lord they gave, they the Lord does not make water. sense yet. The Lord does not they make actually, sense. Yet. They actually like was it the the Easter egg event was like what back in what? Which how many seasons ago was it where you find the ash head and then you put it on on her body exactly it took how long ago was that that was like three four seasons ago five seasons ago yeah maybe five i wasn't there <laughs> that's how long ago it was i wasn't there yeah. yet to play. and then they brought the character in yeah like, damn yeah so they brought ash's head and ash as a character in the lore and the world and then it took multiple seasons before she became the arena's sort of host slash manager thing right they, uh, br they brought in the, the arena organizer yeah 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 whatever it is like the the person who watches over the arena's game uh game mode oh, in like apex she was like, legends she was, like the, she was like the first one like she showed up in season what season nine then season 10 she was gone then season 11 she shows up yeah something like that so mm. it'll take time um mm. definitely for yeah. this to Looks show like up they're doing all this i have a feeling that they might be doing all this to like in the end lead to like maybe possibly a new Titanfall game i don't know there's that, a possibility that's what everyone is sort of hinting or hoping for you know they're, they're, mm -hmm. they're just hoping for a Titanfall part three so anything mm -hmm. to like s connect the dots that leads to this result of a titanfall 3 and mm -hmm. you know i i always had um hope as well even though i haven't played the games yet and it does mm -hmm. sort of make sense um to sort of hopefully create a titanfall 3 by developing mm -hmm. the lore of apex legends per se mm -hmm. i I still don't know like what kind of war would result in Titans and pilots to come back in the first place. I'm not mm -hmm. that deep into the lore uh, mm -hmm. to sort of be able to create some kind of hypothetical slash I mean, fan fiction for it back, to come. Bring back the Titans, it will really change Apex Legends. 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, it will, it will change it too much. I think. Like, I mean, as much as I want Titans in the game, I mean, I believe in my ruin the game. I don't know because it's going to be hard to balance out Titans, man. Yeah, the the map design, and then because the game like, itself if it's, if is it's, a battle royale game. Yeah. it's not the fast paced shooter of what Titanfall Two was. Yeah, it's not, it's not a death match. So it's like maybe they create Actually, a death it, match mode. Uh, if they create a deathmatch mode and deathmatch captured the flag, all that maybe. Yeah, maybe. Then it would. But then, like, I mean, I think it will be worth it if they made another game within Apex Legends, but like you add Titans in it, maybe like another game, another game mode. I don't know. That that would be going like... down the line of Call of Duty, where Call of Duty got their massive Warzone battle royale, and then they have sort of the main storyline. Call of Duty and then they stuff. Have their multiplayer thing, but then like I mean, Call of Duty is like I mean nobody plays it anymore, man. It's like <laughs> the game's fucked. Like I mean, everyone's playing Apex Legends now because like the game makes more sense. Well, this it's still quite large. Certain large content creators are still playing it, gaining many, many hundreds of thousands of views. So mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to call Call of Duty dead by any means, man. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not calling it dead. I'm just saying, like, people are fed up. Like, yeah, I mean, people are definitely fed up. I mean, the Apex community are pretty fed up as well with uh -huh. um, Respawn. And, you know, the game has this problem. Every game has its problems being this big and devs not having, like, maybe the budget to solve it all quickly enough, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. The, every every I mean, game got its problems. A, I haven't seen a problem with Apex Legends yet. Like I don't know what the problems are, unless somebody points it out to me. Yeah, I mean, we I would say we're still sort of semi casuals within the game, so we don't experience the problems that the larger group of the community or people who play many more hours than us experience. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. the servers as well, where our servers in Asia is just not as bombarded compared to other places per se you know possibly possibly yeah possibly. but just to sort of briefly explain um issues is still the general um sort of server issues and sort of complaints that respawn isn't making certain fixes quick enough but then if there was a problem with the loot boxes having higher percentage to give you rarer items you have a higher percentage mm -hmm. to win rarer items they fix that like the next day you know or within the day mm -hmm. but then big problems of characters like watson who needs buffs and they don't listen to the community or mm -hmm. you know other features that are still broken that have been broken for many seasons then you start to question mm -hmm. like what are your priorities here you know mm -hmm. so but then, who, who who really knows? Like, back to Wars, Warzone and Call of Duty, people be saying, like... Oh, oh yeah, let's get into the game, by the way. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get into the game soon. But ba basically, it's, like, old, it, it's questioning content creators as well of, like, is this the end or this is the last straw? If this doesn't happen, then I'm gone. But then it's like, are you really gone? you just be back playing in any case. And some people are... Or content creators are saying that for season 11, that if this season isn't great or when the new patch comes in and the servers can't handle like the new co like people coming to play for the first time. Because when the last season showed up, like it's been like a week, you know, like a hey, whole... Season 10, season 10 wasn't the problem. Season 9 was the problem because everybody was crazy for valk no no no. it was it was season i think it was season 10 not 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 crazy for Ooh. the not crazy for the character just that the servers and people can't play for an entire week man oh a so whole that, that bad it was really bad like a whole week of not being able to play and then i Damn. i at that time just like so happened to just sort of stop playing for that week as well because i was busy i never faced any problems back then well like i mean when yeah. season 10 came out i didn't have any problems yeah no i you weren't you weren't there for the early sort of opening so oh yeah true i wasn't there as well yeah 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 so yeah so uh, problems are there but i don't know if it's the last straw that you know that might break the camel's back 
it will we will have to see about it you know mm -hmm. so yeah we'll see anyways that's pretty good man you want to get into the game yeah i'm getting into the game right now <laughs> 